Hey everyone, Matt here, and I am taking you down on the Chattahoochee with me with this 10 minute cardio core workout. This is for all levels. I'll show you modifications along the way. Full description down below and access to all of the stuff we have available at Evolve Fitness. This is a quick hitter, 10 minutes. You can do this anywhere, anytime. You could do it at the beach, you could do it at home, you could do it at a hotel, you can do it at the gym. Very efficient. Great cardio, great core workout. Let's get to the explanation. We're gonna do a quick warm up. I'll explain everything, then we'll do a quick warm up because we're getting right into the cardio and then we'll do it all together. Remember, you can pause me at any time. We don't play music because we want you on our YouTube page to be able to listen to all your favorite songs. If it was just me, we'd be listening to 90s country and Alan Jackson slow songs while we work out. So put your own music on. You can pause me whenever you need. You can end early, you can take breaks. Whatever it is, if you love the workout, it's okay to do it again. If you want to do this twice a week, feel free to save it, share it, all of those great things. Subscribe to our channel. We have five exercises. The first one, we have two versions. We could do a squat jump, number one, for 20 seconds. So a squat jump, we want to squat down. And then we're jumping in the air, and then we're right to the squat each time, jumping in the air. If you don't like to jump for squat jumps, I want you to do a full body extension instead. So a full body extension, we are a little wider than shoulder width, toes pointed out. You're going to go into a quarter squat with our arms down, and then you're gonna explode up onto your toes, arms up over your head, so you're gonna finish here, and then we're down into a quarter squat, kind of like you're spiking a volleyball if you've ever done that, and then you're gonna go up and down as fast as you can. That is a full body extension. Number two, side plank. A few different ways you can do a side plank. You can do it on your elbow. So I'm on the side of my elbow here. I'm getting my hips nice and high, trying to get a straight line down here, arm in the air. You could do that from your hand as well. You could also do it from the side of your knee. So from the side of your knee, I'm gonna bend my knee to 90 degree angles here, and then I'm gonna go up, one knee on top of each other, same thing, nice and flat down here. Should feel that pretty good through your sides. And then we're gonna do a crossed seal jack. So a crossed seal jack, for those of us who have some coordination, I'm gonna go one leg over the other, one arm over the other. I'm gonna jump out to straight, and then I'm gonna go opposite, back and forth. If that's hard, you could just do regular seal jacks here. And then we're gonna go feet together, pick an imaginary line, and we're just gonna hop side to side over that line. Hop and side to side over the line. You could do that slower too. You could just hop, reset, hop, reset. Last one is our dead bug. So dead bug, you're gonna be lying flat on your back. You're gonna have your legs in the air, arms in the air. The first thing you can do is just go one leg down. On the way down, you want to suck in your belly button towards the floor. Then you want to flex your abs. Then you're going to alternate legs back and forth here. If you want to make this more challenging, you can put your arms over your head. You could hold a dumbbell here, or you could go right arm, left leg. Always meeting in the middle. Left arm, right leg. Meeting in the middle from there. Every exercise here is 20 seconds. We're gonna go four rounds without a break. We're gonna do a little warm up, then we're gonna give you a drink, then we're gonna hit right to it. So again, pause me if you need, but I'm looking forward to working out with you. Again, I hope you're listening to country music, but let's do a little warm up. We're gonna go with a few arm circles here. You could do these however you want. You go forwards, backwards. You can go little, small, but I just want you to do a few arm circles here. All right, now I want you to do a leg swing. So if you need to hold on to something, you can, but I just want you to keep your leg nice and straight, and you're just going to swing it up towards your waist so that you feel just a little stretch kind of behind your knee and your hamstring, the back of your leg. And then we're going to do the other side. And if you ever feel like you need a more thorough warm-up, if you need to jump on the treadmill, bike, or elliptical for five minutes before you want to do these, you could do that as well, just, just nice and slow. And then we're gonna do some butt kicks, alternating back and forth. Now, you can run on these if you want, or you could just do them on the spot, but we'll be kicking our butts here. And then we're gonna go arms out front, like a seal jack, but just our arms here. And then I want us to go into a nice low squat. So I want you to squat as low as you can. Try to get butt close to the floor. If you want to hold on to something for this, you can hold on to like a, a doorknob or something like that. But you just want to rock around, get the hips loosened up in that nice low squat position. 
Okay, we're feeling a little limber now. We will be after these squat jumps and full body extensions. Let's get our water close. If you need a break at any time, just pause me or take a break. We're going to get going in 10 seconds with squat jumps. Squat jumps are number one. In five seconds, this is 20 seconds. In three, two, one, and go. So there are going to be no real breaks here except for the transitions between the exercises. So just do as much in the 20 seconds as you can each time. That's all we ask. You're going to get a great workout no matter how many breaks you take. All right, awesome job. Squat jumps down. We got side planks coming up. Side planks coming up in five seconds. Three, two, one, and go. You want to make sure you're breathing. You'll probably be able to hear me breathing on here. 10 more seconds. Hold on strong. All right, awesome job. We are switching sides in three, two, one, and go. So next up, we got our cross seal jacks coming up after this one. Less than 10 seconds left. Hold on strong. You got this. All right, great job. We got cross seal jacks coming up and then side hops or just regular seal jacks if you like in three, two, one, and go. Halfway there. That's it. Just pretend I'm in your living room, seeing if you're coordinate or not. All right, we got feet together, side hops in three, two, one, go. Now if you want to do, we'll call out uh, my friend Karen on this one who would be dancing like that, waving her hands in the air. Almost there, keep it up. Five seconds. We got dead bug coming up next. All right, awesome job. We got dead bug coming up. I lied, the dead bug is 30 seconds. Everything else is 20 seconds. In three, two, one, and go. You want to put the focus on your core as much as you can here. Slow on the way down. Really suck your belly button into the floor. And then a big flex of your abs on the way up. We're about halfway there. This is the end of round one. So we're not taking any breaks here. We're going to go back to your squat jumps or your full body extensions. I'll show you full body extensions this time. If you want to follow along with me, I'll give you a side view. All right, awesome job. We're back to the top. 25% down the workout. So we got squat jumps or full body extensions coming up. In five seconds, 20 seconds, in three, two, one, go. So it's like a quarter squat. And then we're going all the way up, arms over our head. Halfway there. Awesome job. Keep it up. Keep it up. All right. Awesome job. Down to side planks. If you don't know the song Chattahoochee, I encourage you to look it up in three, two, one, go. I feel like it's a pretty iconic song. Give me a thumbs up if you're feeling good. Hopefully you're warmed up by now. Almost there. All right, awesome job. Switching sides. In three, two, one, go. Keep your core nice and strong here. Don't hold your breath. Pretend I'm coming to give you a little punch in the belly. Keep your core nice and strong, I hope. All right, great job. 
We're up for seal jacks, side hops, and dead bug. We've got our cross seal jacks, or regular seal jacks, in three, two, one, and go. Looked like I was hugging myself there. Of course, you can supercharge these if you want to go a little faster. Ten seconds, let's go. You can do it. All right, feet together, side hops in three, two, one, and go. We always look funny doing this one. Luckily, nobody can see us. You can see me. Maybe you're going to post this on social media or something to show yourself. All right, dead bug coming up. Last around number two. We are dead bugging in five seconds. In three, two, one, and go. Suck in on the way down, flex it on the way up. You should feel it through your lower abs, maybe in your hips a little bit. We got about 10 seconds left. All right, we're back to the top for squat jumps. Squat jumps or full body extensions. I'm going to switch back to the squat jumps this time. We're going to go in five seconds. We got this. We got this. In three, two, one, and go. We're over halfway. Let's go. All right, awesome job. Side plank. Coming up in five seconds. Three, two, one, and go. Those squat jumps will get you. At least you know at home you are struggling with me. You are never alone in these workouts. All right, switching sides in three, two, one, go. Maybe a throw me a comment in the comments if you're doing this. Let me know what time of day you'd like to work out, what time you're doing this workout. This is a Friday for me, 2 p.m. I wake up very early, but I don't like to exercise in the morning. Not ready for it yet. All right, awesome job. We got cross seal jacks and side hops coming up. In five seconds, we got cross seal jacks. In three, two, one, and go. I feel more aligned on this one. Halfway there. All right, feet together, side hops in three, two, one, go. Quick transitions. Skiing. If you see Becky on here, she likes, there's a skiing exercise, I think. All right, dead bug. This is the end of round three. There are four total rounds. Dead bug coming up in five seconds. Three, two, one, go. This is probably my favorite lower back friendly core exercise. You all may have seen leg raises with two legs at a time. Those are often pretty stressful in the lower back. You can put your hands behind your head too if you want. Just keep the focus on your core. Almost there. All right, awesome job. Give me a fist pump. If you've got one more round in you, we've got squat jumps coming up or full body extensions. 
in five seconds. We're doing it. In three, two, one, and go. Let's go. Halfway there. Legs are feeling it. All right. Happy to get rid of those ones. Let's go with side planks. Side planks coming up in three, two, one, and go. Just in case you're timing at home, I'm really just doing estimations here. I got a clock in front of me, but it's just a rolling clock. All right, switching sides in three, two, one, and go. Even if you're tired, you don't want to take the emphasis off keeping your core nice and strong. Here, you got this. Little breaks if you need them. You got five seconds. All right, wonderful job. Three exercises left. We got cross seal jacks coming up in three, two, one, and go. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Almost there. All right, side to side, three, two, one, go. I almost forgot that one, let's go. Raise the roof. 10 seconds. All right, we'll let you lay down for the last one. We will let you lay down for dead bug in five seconds. Three, two, one, and go. Don't give up now. Let's stay with me. If you love this workout, feel free to take it with you anywhere you want. We're over halfway. My abs are feeling it. All right, wonderful job, everyone. Let's give a double high five, a big applauses, applauses to you. Hopefully we'll see you for another one or you wanna watch me again. Let me know in the comments how it went. And if you have any questions, throw them in the comments, throw me an email. I'm always here to help and hope you have a great day.